Lanny here and welcome to another craft video. In this particular video we are going to be making Olympic torches. Uh, yeah, with some things you'll probably find around your own home. And they're very easy to make and they're very pretty when they're done. The reason I wanted to make these is because this week to the 2014 Winter Olympics begin and I thought it'd be fun to do a craft for it. So yeah, we are going to be making Olympic torches. So yeah, let's show you the supplies you're gonna need. Okay guys, so welcome to another craft video. Uh, before you ask, I am feeling a lot better. Um, I'm still coughing a little bit, but not too bad. So we thought we would do a craft video that's pretty simple and easy to do. So first things first, you are going to need a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll because that is going to be the part of the torch that you hold. Then on top of that, you are going to be painting it silver or gold or whatever color you would like. We have silver paint right here, and you're gonna need some sort of brush to apply the paint to the roll. You're also going to need baking cups. We have silver foil ones here, but any color will do. You could use orange or yellow because that would represent the flame of the torch, so you could use that as well. You're gonna need glue to hold the things together. You'll see why in a moment. Scissors, in case you need to be cutting any of your tissue paper. So this is the tissue paper that you use to put inside like birthday gifts and things to like stuff gift bags and things so we purchased two of them um, these are a dollar each we got them at Target which is a uh, store around here and uh, we just got yellow and orange to represent the flame of the torch and then you're gonna need a tea light but you're not going to need a real tea light that you light with real fire you need one of these fake battery powered ones um, because yeah you can't use a real one with this or you're gonna catch this paper on fire you'll see why very soon so let's get this started first things first we are going to paint the entire roll and then we're gonna let it dry all right uh, shout out to Grammy for letting us borrow this paint so you'll see what I'm doing I am just going to put a layer of this silver paint on top of the toilet paper roll and um, we might need to do two layers of paint but if you just want to do one that's fine but basically we're just trying to make this part shiny and to make it look like metal so I'm gonna do all this and we'll be right back okay guys so I painted this two coats of a silver paint so now what we need to do is let that dry before we can move on to the next step all right, so to save us some time, what we did is we took a blow dryer and put it on the cool setting, um, not the hot, but the cool setting to um, help it dry faster. Or you could sit it in front of a fan and that would also make it dry faster as well. So there is our handle. So this is gonna be like the handle of the torch. Now the next part you're going to need is the baking cups, which are these are just basically uh, cupcake cups. And we happen to have silver ones, so that's the reason we painted this silver, but you could do whatever color you'd like. So here's this. So this part basically is going to be glued to that part like that. And this may take a little bit of time to dry as well, so we're gonna do the best we can. So I'm gonna take a little bit of just white Elmer's glue, school glue, and I'm gonna put it around the edge here very thin layer and it's okay if it goes down inside the tube because you'll never see that part anyway so we're just gonna go right around the edge all right so I have a thin layer of glue around the edge and then I'm going to take the flat part of the tin the cupcake cup and put it right on top of there and then kind of give it a little push now see the glues around the edge but that's okay because it'll dry clear so we're gonna let that dry for a minute and to make that faster, you could probably put that in front of a fan as well. So there we go, it's coming along. So in the meantime, while this part is drying, we can be opening up our um, tissue paper here and be getting the tissue that we're going to need prepared to make the flames of the torch. So the colors that I have are orange and yellow because we thought that that would look the nicest for the that represents the fire of the torch and we're going to take one thin piece of the orange out and then move this other part to the side we won't need that much and we probably won't even need that much of this so that's what the scissors are for and then I'm going to take out one piece of paper of the yellow 
So, Lammy, we have a lot of tissue paper to use for future projects. Yeah, I can see that, Mom. All right, so let me get out the yellow piece. Just one thin piece of it will do for now. And if we need to add more, we can. So there's the yellow one. All right, so now you're going to need to get your tea light. So while this dries, we can be making the flames to save time. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors, make sure you get your parents' help if you need to, and we're going to be cutting pieces of this out and gluing them to the edges of this battery-powered tea light is what the next step is. So the yellow paper I'm gonna do first because I want yellow in the middle, and then the orange is gonna go along the outside. All right, so I'm gonna take my glue again and I'm going to begin gluing. Now you don't need a lot of glue for this tissue paper, just a little bit. And then we are going to put this on here and we're gonna be layering this tissue paper around this tea light several times. So see, it's just gonna to stick to the tea light like that. You can see where the glue is. So I'm gonna continue on with this and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is our first layer, and you'll see what I did with the tissue paper here. I just cut it in these shapes and then just layered them on top of each other around the tea light so you can still see the bottom. So it's just gonna sit there like that. So now I'm going to do the orange paper on the outside, um, and then we'll be able to uh, attach it inside here and light it up. All right, so now I have my orange paper and I'm going to put my orange paper on a in a layer on the outside of the yellow, like this. Just all the way around the edge like that. So see, it's a layering effect. So I'm gonna do that all the way around. All right, guys, so your flame should look something like this once you are done and you can make these as tall as long as short as whatever shapes you want um, and then what we're going to do next is take it and stick it inside what should be dry which is the base of the torch and there you have your own olympic torch so now and see the flames so now what we're going to do is we're going to light it up which means all we have to do is take out this part with the uh, paper just take that out and we are going to turn on our light like that. So now the flame is lit and we're gonna stick it back in here and turn off the lights and see what it looks like. Mom, this is like the coolest thing ever. Now I have my own Olympic torch. <laughs> Very cool, guys. Check it out. Ooh, fire, fake fire, huh? So make sure you guys are not using real tea lights, guys. You gotta use those pretend battery powered ones. A real one would never work in this. So yeah, yay Olympics, go USA. However, I root on all the countries because everyone there is fabulous or they wouldn't have made it that far, right? So yeah, anyway guys, are you gonna be watching the Olympics this year? Leave me a comment below and let me know which Olympic sport you like the best. I personally like figure skating the best. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go stare at this and play with this a little bit more. And uh, yeah, so happy Olympics guys. Anyway, I'll talk to you next time.